Okay, we're just going to sponge right up to them. And I want you to have a brush on hand to get along in the edges. And we'll continue this all across the textured brick area. And as you're sponging, you're going to notice that when you're working over texture, you're not going to quite completely cover everything and some of the gray is going to peek through. And that's just fine. Let that happen. Because we'll take care of that as we move along. Just simply try to make uniform coverage with both colors over the entire wall. You're going to want the red paint to dry completely before we can complete the next color step. However, at this time we can begin taking off the grout lines and I want you to simply pull them off. You might want to have an exacto knife on hand just in case you need to dig out and find where these grout marks are. To finish off our brick wall, we're going to do one more step. And what I want you to do... Hi, my name is Barbara Worden, and I apologize for the short clip, but this is just a sample of what you're going to find on the full DVD, Rocks, Blocks, and Bricks. And on that DVD, I teach you how to paint wonderful torn paper rock wall finish, and I teach you how to paint a very realistic textured red brick wall finish, and I also teach you how to paint a very realistic limestone-like block wall finish and they can all be a little bit interchanged with the materials so there's a lot to learn with these very popular finishes alright and um, not only do I make it really easy because of the way I demonstrate it's step by step doing this forever but uh, also the materials are really easy to find so what I want you to do is go ahead and go on over to faufun.com or follow the link in the description down below and on that site, I also have nine other titles. And don't forget to check out the specials page. You'll be glad you did.